Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Empu Fossil back with another NBA 2K17 video. As you guys read in the thumbnail, in the title, whatever it might be. Today, we're going to be going over some glitched NBA dribble moves in NBA 2K17, even after patch 10 and 11. And fully aware that patch 11 just dropped yesterday on Xbox and like last week on PlayStation. So if you're new to the YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for some future NBA 2K17 content. Let's get 1,000 likes on this YouTube video for your boy. But nonetheless, let's jump right into the first move. Now for move number one, you are going to need this Dwayne Wade Rhythm Dribble. As you guys might not know, that this move right here, when you spam this move, it looks so weird. They People are calling this the Moonwalk Rhythm Dribble. Because if you spam it, it looks like you're moonwalking. It's a glitch in NBA 2K17. Even after all these patches, so make sure that you purchase that specific rhythm dribble. And now let's go to our mic courts. And as you guys can see right here on my mic court, he looks like he's moonwalking. This looks so stupid. This is a glitch removing NBA 2K17 even after all these patches. All you're doing is activating a rhythm dribble. In order to do this move, since you already have the Dwayne Wade rhythm dribble already equipped to your mic player, all you really want to do is uh, flick your right analog stick up and just keep on flicking it up as fast as you possibly can if you want to do this animation. Moonwalk animation, but if you want to like flick it upwards, Still pretty fast, but not super fast. You're gonna be, a, you're gonna get a pretty decent animation out of it. I'm not just gonna sit here and tell you that this is the best rhythm dribble in NBA 2K17 because that's a flat out lie. When you activate this rhythm dribble, you're practically doing one dribble at a time. So literally, every time you flick your right hand stick up, you're doing one dribble. So it's kind of good to uh, mix it in with your combo move that you already know how to do. Let's say you do a double crossover, and then you flick your right hand stick up to do that one. Uh, one dribble and then you activate another combo move it's gonna be pretty good to help you link up other dribble moves together definitely by far not the best rhythm dribble in nba 2k17 you can barely even speed boost out of this Dwayne Wade, but i'm just showing you guys that there are still some glitched out dribble moves in nba 2k17 after all these damn patches but they be dropping every week by week now for move number two you are gonna go under your nba shot section and go under hop jumper you are gonna need to equip normal 14 for this upcoming section of this video now no uh, normal 14 is not the best hop jumper in the game that's normal too but you need it for this part of the video and as you guys can tell right here on my mic court look at this hop jumper now, right off the back make sure that your pro stick orientation is, is on absolute when you were doing this hop jumper because you're really gonna need that so go to your settings and make sure you change your pro stick orientation to absolute once more but as you guys can tell right here on my mic court he's doing a long ass hop jumper and then he kind of glitches out once you step your two feet so uh, just hit the floor he does like a weird animation out of it a weird a weird crossover but in order to do this move it's very very easy so like if you have the ball in your right hand and you're on the right side of the court and you're driving to the left side of the court all you want to do is hold down that right trigger run to the left side using your left analog stick and simply hit the x button or the button you use to shoot right after you have done that simply flick your left analog stick to the left you should be able to get this long ass hop jumper animation that is glitched out right when you jump or when, when you step on and hit the floor. It's actually super effective because it's a long hop jumper. So be sure and practice that move and incorporate it with the moves that you already know how to do. But as you guys can see right here, once you start incorporating other moves together, it's going to be a super deadly at the park because you are doing a long animation out of it, which means you're going to be able to create space and you're going to be able to incorporate the other drum moves that you already know how to do. So just be sure to stick with it and keep on practicing this hop jumper move. Now for this next upcoming move, it is not going to be a drill move, but it's going to be a tip that's going to help you guys out so much, especially if you play 2v2s at the park. This tip right here is going to get you guys some easy ass buckets, no matter your archetype. Even centers can do this. As you guys can see right here, I am in my career, and my player is on the right side of the screen. I'm going to run to the top of the key using the right trigger of the turbo button to try to get myself open from this computer. But then when I start to get to the towards the top right here, I'm now going to lightly tap the B button or the button that you use to set a screen. Keep in mind I still have that right trigger down, that turbo button down. I'm going to run towards the corner and you're going to get this speed boost animation right here to help you create space even at the park. As you guys saw right there, it's kind of like a speed boosting cutting animation towards the corner. I know this is not brand new in 2K, but it's going to help you guys out a lot if you do it in 2v2s. So again, I'm going to show you another example except at the park. Now right here, I'm going to run towards my teammate that has the ball in the 2v2s. Once I get to this point, you see my my player at right here. As you guys can see, that this dude right here is actually playing decent defense. He's covering me pretty tight. But once I get to this point, I'm going to want to lightly tap the B button or the button that you use to set a screen while I'm still holding down right trigger this whole time for the turbo. Then I'm going to take off towards the corner and you should get this little speed boosting animation I got right there. I might have missed the shot, but I could have easily just drove in for a dunk, or if I was a sharpshooter, that would have been cash. 
So again, just run towards the top of the key holding down right trigger for your turbo. Once you want to hit that cut, that speed boosting cut, simply press the button you use to set a screen, tap, tap it lightly. Still holding down that right trigger and just run to the corner to get that speed boosting animation. But guys, thank you for checking out the YouTube video for today. I really do appreciate it. Let's get 1,000 likes on this YouTube video for your boy. But nonetheless, it has been your boy, Emperor Mufasa, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.